Hi, this is Brian with BC Gurus, and this is part four of the Web Pages module working with BC modules. BC modules allow you to create truly dynamic websites. You're going to be able to use built in modules like blogs, photo galleries, FAQs, and you have the ability to create custom dynamic um, database driven content using web apps. So you're going to be able to do a lot more than you can normally do without knowing a programming language. In this video you're going to learn how to add modules to your website using both Business Catalyst and Dreamweaver and each module has its own options that are available to you so we're going to learn how to uh, identify what the options are and how to work with those options for different results in our website. So first I'm going to show you how to insert modules using Business Catalyst. Here we're just looking at a web page through the admin panel and you can add modules or open that module manager actually by either clicking this button or this blue plus so whenever we click this button our module manager opens here to the right for this example I'm going to add a photo gallery so I want to place my cursor where I want that photo gallery to be so I'm putting it right here underneath all the text I'm going to go up here and click photo galleries. It's going to slide down. I'm going to select the only option in this case display a specific photo gallery. And then you get a drop down to choose the photo gallery you'd like to display. For this example site, I only have one photo gallery, so it's easy choice. And you can see the module preview here it's showing a small preview of what the photo gallery is going to look like. If I click customize, I'm going to get a few options. Notice what the options here are. We have row length, which is four, which is how many images will display across in each row. Uh, we have target frame, results per page, width, and height. Keep in mind the options available are going to be different depending on which module we're inserting. So I'm going to go ahead and click insert to add this module to the page. Now if we look you can see this module tag here this is uh, pretty much what all your module tags are going to look like they start with module underscore and this number here represents the specific uh, photo gallery that we're inserting uh, the number four was how many images display across the number 12 was how many display on a page and then we had width and height so I'm going to go ahead and publish this page and click the URL to view it and you can see our photo gallery here now I want to make those images a little larger so what I can do is right here in our m module tag just change these to 125 I'm going to make the width and height set to 125 click update now if I refresh the page, the module is uh, updated with larger images. Here we're looking at the portfolio template for this website in design view. Now whatever template you're using is irrelevant. It can be any template of your site. And over here on the right, you should see a list of the different modules you can insert in this template. If you don't see this Business Catalyst window, you're going to click on Window and this put a check next to Business Catalyst right here. So for this example we're going to insert a web form as a module on the portfolio page. So the first thing I want to do is put my cursor where I want the module to be which is below the page content. Then I'm going to click web forms. Select the form I want to insert. I'll do the contact us form then I want to insert as a module instead of inserting the HTML code so you can see the module code right here and the reason you'd want to insert a web form as a module is so that in the future when you make changes to that web form it will automatically update on any page that that web form insert is inserted go ahead and click insert you can see the module is inserted here so next we need to save and upload this page so you can save the page by clicking control s or you can right click and select save as and then I'm gonna upload by right clicking here and selecting put 
wait for it to upload. Now if we go to the website and look at one of our portfolio items, we can see the gallery here and the contact form just below that. This is a page that you're definitely going to want to bookmark and it's the modules quick reference in the Adobe Business Catalyst knowledge base. There's a lot of content here. Uh, you can see if I scro start scrolling down, it's a very long page, but it is organized well by types of modules. If I click show all here, you can see the different types of modules that have information included on this web page. Uh, looking at our photo gallery module, we can click photo gallery modules here and it's going to jump us straight there to the content we need. And for each module tag, it's going to give you the basic module. And then it's going to give you some code here with a placeholder for each uh, module option. So you have ID, row length, target frame, results per page, and so on. And then below that, you'll see a description of each of those options. So for example, ID is system generated. Do not change this number. Uh, row length is the number of photos displayed per row and so on and every module is different so you might have to read through these but there will come a time with the modules that you use regularly you're gonna obviously just remember what these are and then below that it gives you an example of the module in use and if you remember when we insert it in the page that's exactly what it looked like we have the photo gallery ID the row length we have an option here that we did not specify between the two commas here and if we look that was the target frame then we have results per page width and whoops and height so it seems a little complicated but as long as you refer to this you will be able to insert any module you want with relative ease if we look at let's look at a product module here you can see you got module product feature list and then you have your options tag row length sort type and so on tag is the product tag so using tags you could use this module to display only specific products that have a certain tag like featured or uh, anything you want it to be so if you just uh, look through these for the modules that you want to insert and it'll give you some good ideas on how you can set up your website and like I said make sure you bookmark this page because this is going to be one of those pages you're always going to refer back to when you're working on new projects